What's up guys, it's your boy Chris, and I've got another great video for you. In this video, we're gonna talk about lighting. Um, as you guys know, I picked up the GH4 probably about a month, month and a half ago, and I've been really happy with it, but there have been some issues with lower light situations where I just would have liked to have had a light, and I didn't want a huge light, so I started searching online trying to find a lighting solution, and I came up with this little guy from Manfrotto. Uh, I'm gonna unbox it, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna fit it to the camera, see what we think when it's all said and done, and hopefully uh, this guy will be a success and it'll live in my camera bag. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so I decided to get a light for my GH4 that would be a couple of things. That would be dependable, that would be lightweight, and that would be very, very bright. And I decided to go with this Manfrotto Mini LED light. And this is a 24 LED light, and the model number for this guy is somewhere on here. It is the ML240 24 LED panel. And I went with this one because it was the lightest and brightest that I could find locally that was also really cheap. I got it for like 50 bucks at Best Buy and you really can't beat that. And it's a much better companion in my opinion for a smaller camera than say something hunking like this guy here, which is a much larger light that I would use in certain instances. But as you guys see, look at the brightness i mean look at how many look at how big this is as compared to this little guy and how many more leds it is and i think that that little guy puts out just as much light so let's unbox it and we'll actually take a look at that uh, this particular light takes two AAA batteries by the way um, and on the box here it says light up your imagination by the way shows the light on top of a dslr manfrotto imagine more on the side here it shows without the light, with the mini light, and on the back it shows you uh, photo and video applications. Here it looks like the mounting, um, like a mounting guide or shows you what it looks like mounted on multiple uh, DSLRs standard and looks like a mirrorless there. So let's actually pull it out of the box. Let's grab this little guy first, which is the instructions. Nice they gave us instructions. They don't really need those. It should be fairly self-explanatory. And we'll actually pull the light out. <laughs> Packaging's a little unorthodox, but hey, it works. The light is tiny. I can hold it in my hand. I was just, I'm like tripping out over that. Super light. There's this little protective cover over it, which we're not going to use. So we don't need it anymore. Uh, that's where you mount it. it. Says Manfrotto on the back. It's got their nice little logo we're used to seeing on it and this shoe goes in here and we'll tighten that guy up and I just happen to have my GH4 close by so we can attach this to the GH4 slide it right into the shoe lock it down lock everything down the thing that I wish is that it was more that it was adjustable but, and I could get an adjustable articulating arm to go with this, but I like the look, the way it looks on the GH4. It looks really good in my opinion. And on the side is the actual dial and it gives you a couple options there from off to a low light, which looks like that, to as you start to crank it up, all the way to sunlight. And when you look at it, the little guy's pretty light. I mean, it puts out a lot of light to be such a small light. Oh man, in my eyes, it blinded me. And just to give you an example, as compared to this other one, it lights about the same. Uh, not as many lights, but I would almost say that those are more intense than on my big light. So that's pretty funny. But I like the way it, it actually goes with the camera. It adds nothing to the weight of the camera. And I can actually get in here and actually uh, do some shooting with this guy so you know it's not enough to just talk about it let's actually get a model up here of some sort so we can see I'm trying to see what I got that we can model uh, let me grab one of these cars I want to actually show some dark footage of this thing 
and let you guys kind of see how it looks and see we got this car here and see what you guys think so it's dark in here i'm fumbling around trying to see what in the heck's going on because i can't see anything and i'm turning the light on now and this is on full blast and it's got a nice throw to it uh i'm, I'm really digging the, the the actual throw but what's cool and i'm gonna actually shoot a little video on my gh4 and show you guys uh, so we can do both of these kind of kind of uh simultaneous man yeah this thing is it puts out a lot of light very nice i can get a lot of a lot of good shots very usable for yeah i'm really liking this very usable light and it puts out a nice amount of light nice and soft i'm gonna tweak it down a little bit to make it not so harsh because uh, it is I am shooting white but again very nice very nice so yeah guys uh, that is my quick <laughs> kind of unorthodox uh, unboxing of this Manfrotto uh, mini LED light again this is model number ML240 this guy is definitely nice for $50 uh, there's a lot of lights out there, but I think this will be a great one and it uses two AAA batteries nice and light And it's definitely something you should probably add to your camera bag So I got thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Woo Peace <laughs>